How's it going, everybody? My name is Grovan, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. We are right in the midst of uh, the action, basically, that's about to happen, because we have just finished the GOAT. We uh, apparently are set to become the Vault Chaplain, so I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to become the Vault Chaplain and uh, live out our days in this game as a, uh, a priest, kind of, right? That's what a chaplain is, right? I think so. So let's exit the classroom. Three years later, so now we are 16, 17, 18, 19, I guess. Because we were 16 when we took the goat. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Hello, Amada, what's going on? Come on! You've got to wake up! Huh? What's wrong, Amada? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. Let's see here. What do you mean, my dad is gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. Let's see. Dad couldn't have really left the vault. That's impossible. I thought so too, but it's true. He's gone, and Jonas is dead, and now they're looking for you. Jonas is dead? Jesus, what? Jonas is dead? What the hell is going on? My father's men think Jonas helped your dad escape. They caught him and brought him to my dad's office, and they... Oh my god... Okay, so as you can tell, everything is not peaceful in uh, this supposedly peaceful vault. Let's see... So they killed Jonas and I'm next, is that it? Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them. But we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. Let's see here... You're the Overseer's daughter. Can't you fix this? Not this time. My father, he's not listening to anybody. If he even finds out that I've been helping you... But that doesn't matter. I can take care of myself. It's you he's looking for. And I have a plan. I know how to get you out of the vault. Well, I, I think it'll work. Escape the vault? How? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Okay, we've been given 10 bobby pins, which is this game's version of a lockpick. And we've been also given a quest called Escape. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks, Amada. I'll only use it as a last resort, I promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! Okay, so we've also been given a pistol and ten... No, 36 rounds, I believe. Okay, now you can just head out, which is sort of what the game wants you to do, but if we take a look around here, we can also um, get a bunch of secret stuff. Well, it's not really secret, is it? I wonder if we could sleep. I don't think I've ever tried. So, on the desk over here, we're going to have our good old BB gun, as well as 50 BBs. We also have a baseball bat here, a baseball and a baseball glove, which we're going to not take. There's a first aid kit here with Med-X, which is uh, damage resistance, although I never use it. I forget if you can get addicted to Med-X or not. I'm sure someone will tell me, uh, but I never really use it anyways. And 10 stim packs. Also, someone has asked what difficulty... Or I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask what difficulty we're playing on. I believe it's normal, yes. Yeah, so we're going to stick with normal. And uh, let's go ahead and open this dresser and find pre-war baseball cap, Vault 101 jumpsuit 2, and Vault 101 utility jumpsuit. Let's go ahead and uh, equip some of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and put the 10 millimeter pistol in our hands. And let's go ahead and hotkey it up. The baseball bat down. I usually put my baseball bat, or I usually put my melee weapons in the bottom slot. And why not just put the BB gun to the left there? Apparel. Let's go ahead and equip that because it does give us perception one. I don't know how a baseball cap would do that. And let's see. The normal jumpsuit gives melee weapons plus two, speech plus two. The utility gives you lockpick plus five, repair plus five. Let's go ahead and equip that since we're going to need to lockpick apparently. Okay, and now we need to escape the vault. Let's go into sneak. Nothing in the dresser. I think that about covers it for our room. All right. Uh, what's up, man? Okay, and I believe these roaches kill Officer Kendall, who will actually attack us. So let's go ahead and headshot this guy. Yes, I know how VATS works. Now, here's the thing with the Let's Play I'm sure a lot of people are going to gripe about is that uh, I use VATS a lot. That's just how I played Fallout 3. It's not about... Uh, having easy shots or anything like that. It's just that's how I've always played the game. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and fire a bunch of shots at his head. I'll explain uh, that in more detail in a second here. 
All right, so Officer Kendall is dead. Oh, wait, I totally forgot about the, uh, the rad roaches. All right, so why don't I explain Pats? So basically, you hit the right bumper, and it will target, like, everybody that's in front of you. I think you can target more people based on how high your perception is. And basically, you can pick different body parts. Usually, I always go for the head, and it also gives you the percentage of the chance that you'll hit them. Um, and it also tells you how much health they have, and you can sort of pick each selection and shoot different things. It's a really cool system in my opinion. Just a lot of people don't like it because it makes the game too easy. Uh, and it depends on how many times you can fire depends on how many, um, how much AP you have. Or I guess that's action points. So let's go ahead and use that. And as you can see, I targeted the you head. Gotta help me. We blew him up. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Oh, look who needs help. Butch, the douchebag. Let's see, Butch asking for me, Butch asking me for help, if only you knew what irony meant, uh, fuck off, I'm not gonna help you, that's the thing with Fallout, uh, there's curse words, it's not like Oblivion, um, let's go with Butch asking me for help, if you only knew what irony meant. Yeah, I'm asking you, so what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you, you know I never meant any of it, right? I don't believe that. But it's my mom, you can't leave her in there with the rad roaches. I could if I was an evil character, but... <laughs> so you can say, actually, I can leave her for the rat roaches, just watch me, and then you get negative karma. Alright, I'll help you, but I'm doing this for your mom, not for you. Sure, I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. Alright, I don't know why it went into third person. So let's go save Butch's mom really quickly before we continue on. Okay, she should be right behind this door. Oh my god, no, no, no. Actually, we don't need bats to kill rat roaches. Even though the 10 millimeter pistol is really, really inaccurate. Okay, and let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a couple of VAT points. So we've been given karma because we saved his mom. We are so nice. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Well, that's pretty sad. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. And we've been given Butch's Tunnel Snakes jacket, which I believe is not better than what we currently have on Melee Weapons Plus 5. Yeah, and that's already... Oh, I guess that's okay if you use melee weapons. Alright, anything left in here? I don't believe so. And if I remember right, Butch's mom takes a seat and starts drinking. Or that may just be me making that up. Because if you remember, she has a drinking... Yeah, she does! Look at that! Because she has a drinking problem. Alright, Butch, glad I could save you even though you're a complete douchebag for my whole life. Uh, whatever. Let's go ahead, go back here and loot Officer Kendall, who would have killed us if the Rad Roaches didn't kill him. So we can get security armor and a police baton. Let's go ahead and get both of that, both of those things. And now, uh, let's see here. We do have a quest marker. I just don't want to miss anything. Um, yeah, let's go back this way. Actually, there's one thing I think that we can do, and that is to go to the doctor's office where our dad works and loot this uh, medicine cabinet, if I remember right. Let's see if we can't find that. I don't even know if this is the right way or not. Let's see here. Uh, where is this? Okay, so this is Butch. I'm sure we'll find it in a second. I think you have to actually cut through it. So let's see where this goes. It's inaccessible. Alright, let's go into sneak. There's a couple of markers up here, but I think they're just going to be rad roaches. Ah, yes, this is where we had our birthday party, of course. Let's go ahead and pop all of these rad roaches in the face really quickly. Pop! Or not. Pop. There we go. And... Pop. For those of you that have not played Fallout 3, this is probably reminding you a lot about uh, Skyrim whenever you, like, are you are doing a finishing blow on somebody and it goes into slow motion. Okay, so this is where we had our birthday party. As you can see, it's been infested with rad roaches. We also have a dead body here. Grandma Taylor. I don't think she was at our birthday party, was she? I don't think so. Um, and I believe... Okay, we can't go through there. All right. So let's keep heading this way. The reactor's over here. Both of these doors are going to be inaccessible because you can tell by the red lights in front of the doors. Hold on, son. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Who, me? Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Thanks, man. I appreciate it for not being a corrupt cop. Okay. 
So over here we have Andy, who's actually an ally, or should be, yes. And this is our doctor's office, so what I was talking about should be right behind here. It is a very easy lock. I know how to lockpick. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. And who's this? Hello, Stanley. I got a live one here. Whoa, 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 you attacking me? This isn't going to be pretty. I guess not. Me and Andy were in a okay, tight no. spot there. Ain't no mistake. Okay. And he loves toasting roaches so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So in this game, there are computer consoles or terminals, and they have all sorts of information. Terminal locked. Please contact an administrator. So I guess we can't open that one. Okay. So there should be, unless I just made that up and that doesn't exist. Oh, right, it's this that I was talking about. But we need a lockpick skill of 50 to open it. And there's the quote that our mother talked about and all that stuff. All right, so I don't think... I think we're done with this. Hello, Stanley and Andy. Goodbye. I think Stanley can die and you can pickpocket his jumpsuit. Uh, Officer Gomez, okay. Let's head into the atrium. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. Okay, so there goes Tom Holden. He's gonna get out. Uh, except, no, he's gonna die. I don't know why he would do that. Run towards people with weapons. So as you can see, things are very corrupt and evil in this vault. Not as they would appear. So we have to take care of these two security guards. Uh, security guards. Let's go ahead and go whoop. And then target his head and shoot him in the face. Pop. Pop. We look so sinister in our red baseball cap of doom, don't we? Alright, so if you don't use all the AP in the bats uh, thing, then you get it back, obviously. So now we can target this guy three times and shoot him point blank in the head, even though the last one missed. Or it didn't, we just didn't shoot it yet. Okay, and one more shot should take care of Officer O'Brien. Bye! Let's go ahead and loot Tom Holden. I don't think he has anything, just a jumpsuit. Uh, Richards has 10mm pistol, which we can use to repair our own 10 millimeter pistol because it's the same weapon some rounds uh, and a security helmet let's go ahead and switch out our stuff for the security armor and the security helmet which I believe gives more damage resistance but it doesn't give you any uh, skill bonuses let's also loot officer O'Brien get another 10 millimeter pistol another uh, bunch of rounds and I think we're good okay so I don't believe you can go anywhere else oh okay never mind I guess we're supposed to go to the upper level Yes, we are. Right? That door you can't go through, or can you? The lights are green, but I don't think very hard. Yeah. But we can definitely not open that with our current lockpicking skill. Okay. So more rad roaches. I shouldn't even be using bats for this, because they die in like one hit. Even though the freaking pistol is so inaccurate. Oh my god, so many rad, rad roaches. Come on. Come on. I am so pro at this game, aren't I? Okay. Come on, see like even if you shoot at them point blank, it doesn't even hit them half the time. That's why you really need to upgrade uh, the pistol as fast as you can. But weapons in this game are not really accurate at all anyways, because obviously they're all going to be old from before the war and all that stuff, so it's you're going to be hard pressed to find actual good weapons. This is your fault. You and your stupid father. He had to go and leave, didn't he? He had to mess things up for everybody. I hate this guy. Every time I pass him when I play a new game. Okay, we have another dude up here, Security Chief Hannon. Let's go ahead and pop him in the face about five times. There we go. And you can also cripple body parts so that they are less effective. We are out of 10 millimeter rounds at the moment. All right, so we're gonna switch to our baseball bat. Let's whack some of these rad roaches. There we go. All right, who do we have here? Floyd Lewis, this is the guy that I was talking about. You can get his... Um, you can loot his body. Okay, so we have some reading glasses, which do they give you perception? No, they're just stylish as heck, aren't they? Uh, we can't really see ourselves. Can we? There we go. Yeah, look at those stylish reading glasses. We look like Stephen King. Okay. Moving on. I don't know anything. Uh oh. Reasonable amount. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us where to find your friend so we can talk. So the overseer is interrogating his own daughter. Jesus. Hold it right. right there. You gonna automatically attack me? I forgot. Yeah, he is. Sure is. Let's go ahead and whack him in the. Oh yeah, with melee weapons you can't. Um, can't the sight of your own blood. You can. <laughs> Look at that. Take a seat, my friend. 
Yeah, with melee weapons, you cannot target specific body parts. Okay, let's go ahead and loot Officer Mac, who has nothing. And who do we need to talk to? Amada or the Overseer? Let's talk to the Overseer first. Hello there. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. Oh, please, I just killed your whole security force. Just give me the keys to your office and your password, then I'll be going. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. Okay, let's see. You're right, you will die if you don't give me that password. I've dealt with your kind before, you little snot-nosed punk. You should have run like your coward of a father. Oh. Okay. Gotcha now. Okay. Okay. So he's gonna attack me, but I don't want to do it that way. You can make him give uh, you the key. So let's go ahead and find Amada, who should have run over here. I think. I just saw a dead Jonas over there. There you are. Poor, poor Jonas. Eyeglasses, note from dad, and a stim pack. Let's go ahead and get the vault lab uniform. Amada, where in the world are you? There you are. Hello. Thank you. I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. So if we kill... I don't want to kill this guy. If we kill him, I think Amada doesn't talk to you or something. So let's see if we can, like, just walk around him as he's trying to whack me. Can we close this door? No, I guess not. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this locker, which is going to have a stim pack and activate the desk terminal, lock cell door... There's an error, so we can't do it. In the desk, there's just pre-war money. We might have to kill this guy, because he's whacking away at me. 10 millimeter rounds. Nothing, and... Nothing, alright. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I think we actually have to kill this guy, because he's going to have the stuff on him. Well, that's a shame. I didn't want to do it this way, but you gave me no choice, buddy. Wow, this guy's actually taking quite a bit of a beating, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and switch to our pistol, because now we have some rounds. And, unfortunately for you, my friend, your time as an overseer has come to an end. Goodbye. But at least you were able to take, like, three rounds to the face. Not a lot of people can do that. Okay, sorry, Amada, I had no choice, unfortunately. The overseer is going to have the office key, the terminal password, three stim packs, and a jumpsuit. Okay, so... Let's see. We need to get out of here. We need to go this way. Could also probably use a stim pack, but we'll hold off on that for now. Hello. My god, what have you done? You killed him. Why would you kill my father? Well, it was really the only way to progress in the story. I don't think I can pickpocket him as he's trying to kill me, so sorry, Amada. Okay, we are in the overseer's office. There is a terminal here. Let's go ahead and use this. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, information, that basically says they were doing expeditions outside of the vault, even though no one is supposed to leave the vault. I think we can find... He also has dossiers on uh, a whole bunch of different people and talks about the tunnel snakes being a nuisance and all this stuff. Uh, scouting reports. Okay, these should have some pictures. Okay, here they talk about Megaton, which we'll see soon. This is a giant ant, which we'll also see. Uh, and that is Megaton. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Overseer's Tunnel. Vault Tech Instructions also goes over how this vault was never supposed to be opened, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that unfortunately we're going to have to bypass for the sake of the Let's Play, but if you're playing through this game, I would suggest reading through these terminals because they have a lot of interesting stuff. Okay, so opening the Vault uh, Overseer's Terminal, or desk, whatever you want to call it, uh, has revealed this secret passageway. Let's also open these lockers just to make sure we're not missing anything. Mentats, Terminal Password... Oh, son of a bitch. Yep, I, I knew we didn't have to kill him. We could have just went to the slocker, got that. Oh, well. What's done is done, unfortunately. Okay, so let's head down here. I want to get out of the vault uh, before we end this episode. So activating that is going to close that. I don't really know why I did that. But let's open this door. One final rad broach. Don't know how you got down here, buddy, but good for you. Fortunately, it's not really going to matter much, is it? Okay, let's keep heading this way. Door to Vault 101 entrance. That sounds like exactly where we want to be. I say that a lot in my Let's Plays, I feel like. Okay, which way to go? Is this a door? There we go. What is that switch going to do? Reveal a hidden passageway. 
And inside here, we have the door to our freedom. Once we activate that vault door control pod, looks like this giant ass screwdriver thingamajig is going to open this huge vault door. Hello, Amada. Good, you're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! He's trying to kill me, man. I'm sorry, Amada, but I had no choice. I kind of did. So you say. Maybe one day I'll be able to forgive you. But not now. I hope you never have to find out what it's like to see your father killed right in front of you. Foreshadowing? No, don't listen to me. Just, just go! Find your father. I have to go bury mine. Why not come with me? There's nothing for you anymore. No, I can't. Not with you, not now. You'd better leave before I change my mind about letting you go. Oh, please, I'm leaving, whether you want me to or not. There he is. Okay, alright, we have two more guys to kill before we get to our freedom, so let's shoot this guy in the face. That helmet's doing a whole lot. Actually, it is. Or not. Officer Wolf down, and you'll notice also that this game has a lot more gore than Oblivion did. This game is just a whole lot more gritty than uh, Oblivion ever was, or Morrowind, oh. or Skyrim, or Elder Scrolls, for that matter. Why is this guy taking so damn much damage? Jeez. Right. You have quite a lot of rounds now. There we go. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and loot Officer Wolf's, what is that, his eyeball, I guess? I don't know. Gross. Either way. And uh, who are you, Officer Park? Okay. So! The vault door has been opened, and it appears that we can head into the wasteland. Amada wants nothing to do with us. She does if you spare her father. I don't know if that has any repercussions. I think it does, because there's actually a quest involving Vault 101 that we can return to later on in the game. So if we exit here, you'll also notice that there's a bunch of skeletons. It says help, and there's a bunch of signs that says help us. It says we're dying, assholes. And this one says, let us in, mother. Well, you can read that for yourself. Um, so yeah, no one could come into vault whatsoever, even though these overseers and, and the security force and whatever did know there's people out here because they, uh, they led expeditions to uh, see the outside world, which I think our father was a part of. Okay, so now the vault door has closed. Wait, 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 I have second thoughts. I forgot a stim pack that I wanted. No! And if we try to activate that, it will not open. We are shut off completely from Vault 101, but door to the Capital Wasteland. Before you leave Vault 101 forever, you may revise your character. Uh, someone was saying that if you put the most points into intelligence, you get the most skill points. I know that that I know that that's what a lot of people do, but that's not how I want to play the game. It doesn't make that big of a difference. And uh, yeah, finished exit Vault 101. Let's head into the Capital Wasteland. Alrighty. Our eyes have to adjust. But there we go. God, I love that sound. That's probably my favorite thing about exiting the vault and getting into the wasteland. Just hearing that noise and seeing this sight. Scenic overlook. Look at that. The irony, huh? We've also leveled up. Okay, welcome to level two. Now let's see here. Usually I like putting a bunch of points into the stuff like explosive and explosives and lockpick and I usually like getting them to at least like 25 so that we can uh, do certain things as you guys will see. So let's put, let's get lockpick up to 25 first and now let's get repair up to 25 as well. Okay, do we get a perk? We do. So how leveling up works in this game is as you can see you can put up your skill points. You don't increase your skill points yet by using them like in the Elder Scrolls. You have to wait till you get to the... Uh, the different level thresholds and you can also pick a perk I believe it's every two levels so let's see daddy's boy no that's not good uh, I think we want intense training or educated yeah we definitely want educated and there's another one that I don't think we can get just yet but we want to put the points into the ones that will increase our skill points so let's go with Swift Learner, that's what we want first. With each rank in the Swift Learner perk, you'll gain an additional 10% to total experience points whenever experience points are earned. So I usually level these up first so that we level up faster and faster and faster. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there is your first view of the Capital Wasteland if you have not played Fallout 3 before. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and explore it. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grovana, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, Vault 101.
Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.